Our hobby has an image problem. Some of it's reality and some of it isn't. But it's a barrier for entry, it's a barrier for acceptance, and it's a source of the so-called gamer shame. Some of the blame can be put rightly on the media. We are far too often portrayed for our worst characteristics. There are exceptions, and they grow less rare every day. Even these YouTube channels help. They allow us to publicly show ourselves for what we are, great people who are also gamers. But that's not enough. We cannot change the messenger enough. We have to change the message. We have to be better. We have to hold ourselves to a higher standard. One of our great strengths as gamers is that anyone can be a gamer. No matter who you are, what problems you may face, there are gamers who will not judge you. You can be social, make friends, and enjoy yourself. And one of our great weaknesses as gamers is that anyone can be a gamer. People will share time with you regardless of your social, health, or other issues. The problem is that people may not be so motivated to make their lives better, to be a more well-rounded person, to be part of society and not an outcast, because it's worth it to be healthy in every sense of the word. Some people say that they should be themselves and be proud of that. I wonder, though, how often this is a statement born out of fear of failure and lethargy. And I know some people struggle with issues that can never be fully conquered, and I know that's not easy, but it's worth it. It's not enough to simply be better than the stereotype. We have to show the world that we're better than that stereotype. We have to change the image of our hobby. And we can never stop pushing ourselves to be better. I know I don't.